Hey guys, welcome back to the Sal Patera channel and this is our series on Sal's Carnival Kitchen. This is a video that is in connection with Carnival Cruise Lines. They sent us some great recipes from the bar as well as some great recipes from the main dining room that we've been making and show you how to make at home in your very own kitchen since you can't be on a Carnival Cruise right now. Today, we're gonna to make a drink that you'll find at the Alchemy Bar called a Martini Seduction. A great drink, and I'm gonna be right back to show you how to make it right after this. Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for staying through the intro. And as always, please make sure you hit that like button. Also click the subscribe button and that little bell notification that way YouTube will let you know every time I upload a brand new video. Now, as I said in the very beginning, today we're gonna to be making a great drink in connection with Carnival Cruise Lines, who was nice enough to send me recipes for drinks, as well as a lot of meals. A couple days ago, we did the eggplant Parmesan. And today, we're gonna to show you how to make a martini seduction. It is a great drink that they offer at the Alchemy Bar on board Carnival Cruise Ships. And if you haven't been to the Alchemy Bar, it is a absolute drink culinary experience. Uh, you'll not only find mixologists there, but mixologists are going to be in their lab coats and make a lot of really interesting drinks that you don't find at a normal bar. So for the martini seduction, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need Grey Goose, Grey Goose, La Orange Vodka. You're going to need passion fruit. There are lots of different places to get passion fruit. We found Tarani passion, shoot on, um, passion Fruit on Amazon. You're going to need one ounce of that. You're going to need three quarters of an ounce of preferably fresh lime, but we are using bottled lime um, that we got. It's only a dollar for the lime. And one ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice. That's it. The recipe for this is actually pretty simple. You're going to need a shaker too. We're just using a regular water bottle for a shaker. So we're going to start out by getting an ice cube. And we have these really fancy round ice cubes. Matter of fact, this one's not going to work because it'll be too big. There we go. We have these really fancy round ice cubes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with our Grey Goose La Orange. And we're going to use two, two ounces of Grey Goose La Orange. And this is a two ounce measuring that I'm using. One ounce of passion fruit. Three quarters of an ounce of lime. Nope, a little too much. We're gonna put all that in there. There we go, put that in there. I like extra lime. And one ounce of orange juice. And that's it. Shake it up. Gotta do it the bartender way. Then we're gonna take this. Put it in a chilled glass right out of the freezer. Actually, you know what? It can be easier to strain with the lid on. If I can figure out how to do it. There we go. And then we're gonna garnish with a piece of lime. We're gonna do it the easy way. the insides out maybe Try to do it like this or a piece of orange rather not lime excuse me pull the guts out of it give it a slice curl it up a little bit like that and there you have a martini seduction 
found that the Alchemy Bar, a relatively easy drink to make. And let's try this drink. That is really, really good. Once again, thank you to Carnival. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button again. Hit the little bell notification if you haven't already. And I'll see you up on the Lido deck.